What's up everyone, Tyler Medeiros here and welcome to Tyler Medeiros TV. For those of you who are not subscribed, you can subscribe down below so you don't miss a video and for those of you that are, welcome back. While you're down there beside the subscribe button, you can hit that bell and turn on post notifications to make sure you get notified every time I upload. For those of you that are new to the channel and may not know, I upload every Friday and every day that I can in between. Now for those of you that haven't seen my last video, because you guys were leaving so many great comments on wanting me to continue those type of videos that I made in October, I've gone ahead and decided to continue those videos throughout the year for you guys. So if you guys haven't seen my last video yet, go check it out, but we're going to be getting into a lot of mysterious, paranormal, and really creepy things. Now for those of you that did see my last video, we spoke about Ruby, Arizona, and just by coincidence, the place we're going to be talking about today is actually also in Arizona. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a town that was once abandoned and it's called Tombstone, Arizona. Tombstone is located in Cochise County, Arizona in the United States. Before Tombstone was founded in 1879, it was known as Pima County, Arizona Territory. Something interesting that you guys may not know about Tombstone is that it was established above the Good Enough Mine. By the 1880s, Tombstone had grown significantly due to the local mine. The Tombstone, Arizona mines were pulling in 40 to 85 million dollars in silver bullion, which made it the largest district producing silver in Arizona. Arizona. The tombstone population grew from 100 to approximately 14,000 people in just seven years. Despite tombstone being quite some distance from any other metropolitan area, it grew rapidly. Just two years after the town of tombstone being founded, it had four churches, a bowling alley, two banks, a school, an ice house, an ice cream parlor, and three newspapers. The town also had 110 saloons, 14 gambling halls, and they even had multiple brothels and dance halls. Now it's said that the gentlemen and ladies would go to the opera house often to enjoy an opera show. While the gentlemen and ladies of Tombstone were at the opera house, the cowboys and miners would all flock to the birdcage, which was a theater and brothel. Now the birdcage theater is what we're really gonna be getting into because there's multiple stories saying that this saloon is haunted. From the workers at the saloon having their own haunted experience to even ghost hunting teams coming into the property and having their own experiences. It's said that the bird caged theater is a hotbed for paranormal activity.
The Birdcage Theater in Tombstone, Arizona was opened December 26, 1881, and it operated between 1881 and 1894. Now, it was said that the Birdcage Theater was the place to go for nightlife, and it was even rated the number one nightlife spot in 1982 by the New York Times. Now, the owner of the Birdcage, William Hutchinson, had been to San Francisco, and he was inspired to bring their type of respectful family shows into the Birdcage. When the theater first opened up, they had ladies night and the ladies would get in free. Ladies night was shortly canceled just because it didn't suit the demographic that was attending. The Birdcage then started offering entertainment that more suited the crowd of cowboys and miners. The entertainment ranged from comedians like David Waters and Will Curlew. They even had this woman that they called the female Hercules because she would perform these feats of strength that no one could explain. The entertainment even included masquerade balls where the cowboys and miners could drink and dance all night long. Now with a place like the Birdcage Theater, how could it not be haunted with all the residual energy? But just to add to it, Tombstone, Arizona itself was home of the biggest shootouts in American Wild West history. At 3 p.m. October 26, 1881, a shootout broke out between some outlaw cowboys and some lawmen. Now this historical shootout is known as the OK Corral shootout, but it's said that it actually didn't take place there. Some people say that the actual shootout happened at CS Flyer Photography Studio, which is actually a few doors down from OK Corral's back door. It's said that the gunfight lasted 30 seconds and at least 30 shots were fired and three men ended up dead. With all that history and all that energy just around, how could you not expect these saloons to be haunted? Now, people who attend the Birdcage Theater and even the workers there have said to be hearing noises and even seen apparitions. They say that they could hear people singing, people tap dancing, and even people throwing chips like they're placing bets. The Birdcage was home to the longest poker game in history, which was held in the basement of the theater. Players paid up to $1,000 buy-in, which in today's date would be $30,000. The historical poker game took place between 1881 and 1889. It was played 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The game took a total of eight years and it's said that approximately $10 million were exchanged in between those eight years. And of course, the birdcage retained 10% of that 10 million. In the mid 1980s, the mining companies had to invest in some special equipment. The miners at the Grand Central Hoist had reached water at 620 feet. Now at first, the water Water that they were getting was not enough to get them to stop. Soon enough, a four inch pump was insufficient at getting the water out of the mining hole. Now the mining company brought in these large Cornish engines to keep the mining going, but in 1886, a large fire broke out in the pumping plant and destroyed all the machines. Now after debating back and forth whether they were gonna fix the pipes or not, they finally came to the conclusion that it would not be profitable to fix the pumps. Now soon after they made that decision, the price of silver went down to 90 cents an ounce. This big drop in silver caused the rest of the mines to lay off the rest of their workers and shut down. Now at this point, many of the residents decided to abandon Tombstone, Arizona. And in 1892, the birdcage closed. Now the town of Tombstone was 646 people away from becoming a ghost town in 1910. But now in the year 2010, the population of Tombstone grew to 1,380 people. And I'm proud to say that the Birdcage Theater was leased as a coffee shop in 1934. All right, so there you guys have it. A little bit of history and paranormal activity in Tombstone, Arizona. But I'm gonna go ahead and close out today's video here. If you guys enjoyed it, give it a nice big thumbs up and leave a comment down below of what you guys thought of it. And again, of course, I wanna thank you guys so much for all your love and support that you guys continuously give me. It really means the world to me. And I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.